as a multi-use harbor, it's practically perfect. It has deep water areas, shallow areas. So it has places where you can do tourist-oriented, marina-oriented, but it also has areas where you can do businesses like FMC or marine dependent. Um, we have a really good group of marinas. Um, we're becoming a hub for that, but we're also now the schooner capital of wherever because the schooners have migrated here from Camden and Rockport, and Camden and Rockport still have them. But we now have either the most or close to the most schooners in the area, and people come from all over the country to go because Penobscot Bay is such a beautiful area. So it's marina use, tourist use, industrial use. Um, also, the ships that come in and visit us as a port there's a long term, now when I say long term, I'm talking 40 years, project to try to improve the public landing, enhance the Fisherman's Memorial and make the whole public landing area more friendly to people who come in on their own smaller boats or on the larger cruise ships. Um, it's a good goal, but it needs outside money. It's the type of thing that we can plan, but we can't execute unless we get that money. Until our sources of money from the state and federal change, we have to budget as tightly as we possibly can. Because I can't stand another rise in my taxes. And even if the school or the county is going to give it to me, I can't stand it from the city. So that's where I say we have to be creative. The harbor is part of where we have to be creative.